Big news on the spider front today. Sony Pictures is developing a live action Silk series. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia and we're going to talk about this new Silk live action series. But first, take a minute to hit that like and subscribe button. You know we'll give you all our latest news, rumors, and reviews. And we'll try to keep it positive and fun. Well, this news kind of came out of nowhere. But we got an interesting update from Variety. What they're reporting over at the trade is that the character known as Silk will be getting her own Marvel television series. What Variety says is that Sony is teaming up with Lauren Moon to write the series. Which is fairly ironic because the title character is named Cindy Moon. Now, you might know her from her Netflix series Atypical, and she did another series on Freeform called Good Trouble. Now, this will have Phil Lord and Chris Miller producing along with Amy Pascal. There's currently no network streaming service attached to broadcast the show. But according to the article, Amazon is trying to pick up the show, along with maybe some other Marvel series Sony is working on. But they didn't elaborate on that. But let's talk about that more in a few minutes. Now, it was reported way back in 2018 that Sony was working on a Cindy Moon movie, but nothing ever became of that. And then later that year, we were told there was going to be a female spinoff of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse that would focus on Silk, Spider-Gwen, and Spider-Woman. Now, if you're unfamiliar with who Silk is, her real name is Cindy Moon, and she's actually a classmate of Peter Parker. She was introduced in The Amazing Spider-Man No. 1, the 2014 edition. And like Peter, she was bitten by a radioactive spider, which gives her the ability to move at incredible speed, she shoots webs out of her fingertips, and she possesses an advanced spider sense even more advanced than Peter Parker's, and it's known as Silk Sense. Now, in Spider-Man Homecoming, Tiffany Espenson played the character, but currently, it's not known if she'll reprise the role. To me, that would make the most sense, but we'll have to wait and see. How this ties in to the rest of the Marvel Universe, Sony's movies, and everywhere else is still completely unknown. Now, if you were paying attention, this isn't really a big surprise. Lord & Miller's deal with Sony, when it was announced, reported they would be working on some kind of television series, and it would likely be based on Sony's Marvel characters. Now, that's a huge list, but now we know who the first one is. That's going to be Silk. With the suggestion that Amazon Prime is trying to pick up a couple of these shows, it makes me think about something. Clearly, Marvel Studios is going to use Disney Plus in their series there, lay out their movies, and put some backstory to their characters. It seems very likely Sony would try to do the same thing. And since we know Sony's Spider-Verse is going to be adjacent to the Marvel Universe, they could kind of do their own thing in their own series without any crossover. This very well might be the first chapter in that series, and might lead us to seeing some of those other projects that we heard about but got cancelled, like Silver and Black. In any case, once we have more details about the series, we'll bring them to you right away. Clearly we need to know which streaming platform it's going to land on, and when we're likely to see the series. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.